your baby has a role to play when it comes to breast milk production yes they have a higher role self to play when it comes to breast milk production Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about breast milk production. How is it being produced in the body? Because I've gotten questions from women that just delivered complaining, oh, my breast is not producing enough milk. How am I sure my baby is getting the right amount of nutrients? How am I sure my baby is getting the right food? I am worried I am perturbed. So I decided to make a video for it to explain the role of your baby when it comes to breast milk production. But before we go into details in today's class, if this is your first time on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nos Messi Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like Elias said, today I'm going to be talking about breast milk production yes how it works in simple terms we all know the supply and demand demand and supply chain when we are treating economics back then in secondary school that is the same way breast milk production works so if your baby increases demand the supply increases i'm going to settle that and explain it so that you understand for those that have given birth, when you are pregnant, you go to the um, you go to the ward, you deliver. Immediately the baby is born. The midwives, the nurses will advise you, oh, put the baby to breast to get a lot of nutrients. Especially if you want to do exclusive breastfeeding or you want to give your baby breast feed for some months rather than uh, baby food or formula at the very beginning. So why are they advising you to do that? When you put the baby to breast... When your baby is trying to suck, because your baby comes out of the womb with that sucking reflex. It's called sucking reflex. The ability to suck comes like it, it comes with them as they are coming out of the womb. So when you put them to breast, they hold your breast. A lot of things take place in your body. The first thing that takes place is that a message is going straight to your brain. Telling your brain, a baby has been born. A baby needs food. What should we do? Then the brain be smart as we have it. We say, oh, I need to signal those that are responsible. So the, those that are responsible, which are the hormones of um, prolactin, the hormone prolactin, and also a hormone called oxytocin, they are the ones responsible. So the brain signals prolactin, the brain signals oxytocin to start doing their job. So what does prolactin does and also what does oxytocin does? The prolactin is the one that say, avioli, avioli is time to make milk. It's time to make milk. Avioli is found in the breast. So the prolactin triggers the avioli to start producing this breast milk, to start taking nutrients from the blood supply, to start gathering this breast milk. That's what prolactin does. So prolactin is the one that makes the avioli to start its work, to start producing this breast milk. So, while prolactin does the job of milk production, oxytocin, whenever you hear oxytocin, for the pregnant women, I believe they know what oxytocin is. Oxytocin helps with contraction. You know, when you want to give birth, for those that are having, they might give you oxytocin injection that will help to contract the womb and push the baby out. Ah. That same way, oxytocin will go to the breast and like, oh, avioli release the breast milk. So, oxytocin will contract the avioli to release the breast milk to go into the baby's mouth so oxytocin is what helps to release the breast milk from the alveolar from the alveolar into the ducts and into the baby's mouth so the oxytocin and the prolactin they are the hormones that are being released when your baby sucks and also when your baby starts sucking very well your breast milk production increases as your baby grow in age as his consumption or her consumption increases the breast milk production increases because as your baby is sucking as your baby is trying to get more milk the the um the breast is sending message to the brain the nerves are sending message to the brain to increase their prolactin to increase their oxytocin so that your baby will get enough milk so if you are not giving your baby breast you are not putting your baby frequently to breast breast milk might not come out that's why oh some mothers they keep complaining oh my baby is not your baby is getting enough 
as far as you're putting your baby to breast, messages are being sent to the brain. A lot of things, hormones are being released to ensure that your baby gets. So the more you put your baby to breast, the more milk production you get. But the lesser you put your baby to breast, the less milk production you get. So for mothers that are finding it difficult or they want to do exclusive breastfeeding and they feel they are not, their baby is not getting enough, it's advisable you always put the baby to breast to stimulate the nipple, to stimulate those nerves, to send a message to the brain so that there can be increased milk production. I know some women like they've tried, but it's good to give it a try before you come into the final conclusion that it is not working. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So, breast milk production is a demand and supply. It's what your baby demand that the body supplies. If the demand increases, definitely the supply increases. A lot of women, they start like there is a letdown. That's the milk, the discharges, the milk, sorry, the milk, not discharges. The milk start coming down unexpectedly. For example, when they hear their baby cry, when they hear other baby cry, when they are not around, they are supposed to be nursing. Their baby might not be on their nipple, but those past sucking reflex that your baby has done had made your breast like prepared to to um to produce milk and to release milk. So some women they have um breast milk dropping out from their breast as a result oh it's full the baby needs to suck it out and all that at different time though so if you notice that as a woman try and see if you can apply pressure on the nipple to actually stop it and it's advisable if you are breastfeeding to always put on um this um, breast pad Breast pad helps to suck the mix and also prevent public embarrassment yes breast pad get a breast pad because if not it will just embarrass you Yes, because once there's let down of that milk, even while your baby is not around you, once there's let down of that milk, it can soak the brazier and get into your clothing. And you're like, wow, oh my God, oh my God. So if you are breastfeeding, it's advisable you go with a breast pad when going out to avoid such embarrassment. So I just want to let you know that breast milk production is a supply and demand. The more you put your baby to breast, the more breast milk you get. But the lesser you put your baby to breast, the less breast milk you get and i hope this video explains it there's something i also want to talk about the four milk and the heat milk why it's advisable you keep your baby to the breast for a longer period of time is that when you put your baby to breast for a longer period of time the baby takes what is called the four milk and also take the hind milk you get but if you put the baby short period of time on one breast ah the baby stay one minute here you turn it out to the other one stay your baby is just taking water, water from the two breasts. It's not taking the complete nutrients. But if you leave your baby like on this, your baby is on this particular breast, you leave her for a longer period. She take not just the formic, but also the hind milk. The hind milk contains more nutrients than the formic. So that's why sometimes some women say, oh, I've breastfeeded her, but she's still crying. She's still crying. You've been giving her water. It's possible. So take your time. Let her suckle from the first breast for a longer period, then also suckle for the other breast for uh, another period. I'm going to make a short video explaining the difference between formic and hidmic, so you have an idea about it. I've been battling with flu. My nose is really bad, so I'm just trying to make this content with the flu. So, thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.